Hey guys, this is Rob from Classic Car Living. We're here at RM Classic Autos. We're gonna take a tour, check out all the cars he has, and we're gonna meet Ricardo, who's the owner of the shop. Let's go take a look and let's meet him. I'm Ricardo, welcome to RM Classics. This is a hobby that I do. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm already retired and then uh, I always like uh, Steve McQueen and his movie. A couple years ago, I went to Mecham and uh, it was the real uh, bullet that was selling. And I said, well, let me start buying them and as that one over there, building them. Where do you go hunting for these things? I have some people in Georgia and Tennessee that are friends of mine and they, when they find them, they call me and then I buy them from them. Nice. So then that, that's the condition that you get them in. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, well, that's, uh, that one here is uh, special. Uh, it's kind of rough, yeah, because it needs the floor. And then from that, you it, start getting it, them to this process yes. here. This is step two, right? Yeah, this is step two. And this one, you can see the only thing that I did metal work is the floor. Right. The rest of the car was uh, perfect. I didn't need to do any work on this. One. Gotcha. And then you were telling me you put it all back together. How I, you know, I. What's your process when you take it apart? Show us the... Uh, oh, I, when I take them apart, I come over here and I label the boxes. And here's all the parts for this, for this one here. So you got everything in there? Yeah, I was looking in here. Wow. I have to clean this and paint mm -hmm. them again. And right. then then I put, them, uh, and I put a table here and I start building them. Uh, put them back to how they supposed to be. Uh, now, you, where... All your cars, you keep them back to stock, correct? Yes, I I, I leave them stock. I don't I don't do no modifications in the engine or or sometimes I put uh, power brakes. Right, yeah. but nothing. But no, no, everything else it's, is pretty uh, much stock. They come with the this, the original engines that they came, and that'll. I'll, this is the engine how it looks. And this one, after the, uh, the body shop, I'll show you now one. Uh, so you said you said you have a uh, somebody who details. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a guy who does it for me because this this is uh, time consuming. Right. Uh, and then I found a guy who does it in his house, and this is you saw that one of how it looked. Right. And this one, look how this one came out. So you basically get it painted. If you need any metal work, I have uh, the you same have somebody. Guy. Yeah, I have some guy. And then who you got, and then you got your detailer, and then you put it all back together. Yes. Wow, that's a nice hobby. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's time consuming. Yeah? Yes. But I you're retired, so... I'm retired. I don't have nothing to do. I don't want to stay home. I, right. I prefer to come over here. So show us this one from the Bullet movie. Ah, yeah. This one is a, a car that I have for almost uh, over eight years. I've been working on it. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm doing the, the vinyl molding. I'm doing that now. That's probably... I'll finish it this week. Nice. This is a pre-383 original engine. Beautiful. And so this is going to be that's, what, that's going to be from uh, my personal car. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, this probably too. This thing is perfect. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. Can we see that engine? Oh, yeah. So this one you're going to keep? Yeah, I'm keeping this one. And you do have a real bullet at your house also. I do have a, my first one. So you're going to have the bullet movie in your garage. I'm going to have, yeah. Uh -oh. Wait a minute, guys. Uh, there it is. So what do we got? This is a 383 truck out to a 440. Aluminum heads, headers, fuel injection, air condition. Nice. Very nice. So when you get this one done, we got to come back and do oh, a little, uh, to, oh, yes. we yeah. got to do our own bullet segment, you know, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. over. Uh, yes, we need to do like a chase. Exactly, uh, around Miami. Yes. Yeah. All right, so what else do we got here? We I've seen this Chevelle before in the office. Yeah, this is an LS6. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill Chi. Nice. That I'm going to keep. And I'm going to resell it. 
Oh, you're going to resell it? No, I'm going to keep it. Oh, you're going to keep it? Yeah, yeah. Hold on a second. Wasn't this one for sale? Uh, no, the, no, oh, no, 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 I thought no, this one was for no. sale. Yeah, no, I will never sell it. Oh, very nice. And the interior, all stock? Yeah, this is all stock. So what else do we got over there? Well, I see a That's SVO. That's an SVO, a four-cylinder. Uh, I had it for a while. Uh-huh. Uh, I have too many cars, and then I'm probably going to take it with me. Oh, yeah. Gunnery. Yeah. So most of your cars... You you sell on Mecham? Uh I sell them on eBay or Facebook or on Mecham. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so what is that, a 19... That's an 86 uh, uh, SBO, nice. four-cylinder. I didn't take the covers off, but yeah. it has low, really low miles. I think oh. it has like on the 20. Really? Yeah. Wow, it looks brand new. Yeah. Mm. That looks gorgeous. Mm. So that'll be going to Mika. Yeah. And then this monster I've seen before. Yeah. Talk to us about that. This is this is a replica of a race car that I bought from an old gentleman. Uh, this has a three uh, three ninety automatic, three carburetors. Huh. And it's a what is it? A Ford what? It's a Fairline. Wow. I had it for a while. I love it. You know, it runs. Excellent. You're keeping this one off? I'm keeping this one, yeah. <laughs> so it, it looks to me like all the really good ones you're yeah, keeping, right? Uh, yes, yes. All the real good ones. Yeah. This one's cool. Yeah. I saw this one at uh, uh, Fairchild. Fairchild, yeah. Yeah, Fairchild. And, and then now I'm going to take it again uh, uh, in next month, right? To Deering? Deering, oh, yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah. And then what about the GT over here, the S-Code? Uh, no, this is a R code. Oh, R code. This is a 428. This is a track pack car. Wow. Yeah, this is. This a, is your your son's car. No, this is mine. Oh, it's yours. Yeah, this is mine. All original. Yeah, this is all. And you said it's a 428. 428. R code. Beautiful. No, R code. K code. K code. Yeah. Oh, it's a K code. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This thing's. Gorgeous. I was confused with that one there. Yeah, you got so many cars, you get confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not that many. <laughs> and then this is an Esco that's going to make them too. Nice. Yeah. I try to make, uh, every year I try to build three of them. Uh, this year I did three and I sold already one to make them. And now this two are going to, uh, to the, uh, Kissing me. Oh, the kiss uh, winter show. winter auction. Oh, we got bullet in here. Yeah, this is an Esco, the three ninety four speed. Nice. Yeah. So, this space is awesome, and I see a lot of memorabilia. Tell tell me about that. Oh, uh, I have a friend of mine that uh, he collects them, and then he gives them to me uh, when he, you know. Uh, and all oh, this is a gift that he has gotten. Uh, give it. Uh, give nice. It, yeah. Nice. And uh, I like the uh, the murals on the wall, too. Oh, yes. That's uh, my son and my wife uh, hired uh, uh, Arbing uh -huh. to... He did this one for me first, and then I hired him to do this one here. Oh, nice. We needed, we needed uh, the charger. Right. Man. Your bullet again, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then talk to me about this one. You got this one relatively... I got it. I got a, like... Uh, a month ago, this is a 65, six-cylinder, one owner. This car is, look how it, the door closes, incredible. Wow. Yeah, how It's amazing. The California car. Poppy Red. Yeah, Poppy Red is the, it's called. Looks gorgeous. Low miles also, or? Yeah, no, or not, I don't no, know. No, not low miles. miles. Can we see the engine compartment? Yeah. Actually? So you said six-cylinder. But you were telling me it has a couple. This, yeah, it came with power steering, power brakes, from factory. Yeah, this is probably gonna um, get it ready for for sale to sell it at eBay or. Oh really? Yeah, or make them. It's already ready to go make them, but I'll probably sell it before. So if if somebody wants to contact you directly, is there a way to contact you directly? Uh, yeah, you can go on my website or my Instagram account, or you can just give me a call. So. I see that you have a lot of parts all over yes, this place. Yes, yes, yes. That's, they're, they have numbers. That one, I think, this one has a number. Uh-huh. 
This is another one that is in a paint shop. It's coming probably oh. soon. So you got everything organized. Yeah, this is a new parts. Uh, you got mirrors. Mirrors. Uh, all that for one that almost it's almost finished and it's in a paint shop. So all of these parts are from a car, or yeah. do you have extra parts? Yeah, I have uh, extra parts. Yeah, because I saw some seats over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's parts everywhere. Center consoles. Yes, yes, and, yeah. Uh, there's parts everywhere. The screw kit. This yeah. Is, yeah, but that's good. That's yeah, awesome. Because yeah, yeah. you never know what you need, right? Yes. Yeah. You never throw anything out. Oh, I never throw anything. All right, so let's check out this space in here. This was really cool. Okay. This is your office space? This is my office space, yeah. Oh, wow. Pinball machines. More parts. <laughs> nice you got the old gas pumps yeah i was telling you this poster here when i was growing up my best friend had it in his room oh wow it's so funny that yeah. that's back from the 80s i love the gas pumps yeah. what is that from that's from a model a i think it is wow the one i want to buy an engine uh-huh for a car that's going <laughs> Up there, uh, the guy had it, and then he included it in the price. Oh, nice. Yeah. You got a just a hood? I had a hood, and yeah, this is for that car that's up there. In the, oh, it is? Yeah. What you got? A 67 um, Ice Cold. On Mika? On Mika, yeah. It has some paint issues that I probably have to fix. How does it make you feel having this kind of stuff? I feel great. I have something now to wake up and come over here and do some stuff in my cars. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the cars that RM Classics is selling, you can reach out to them through Instagram, their website, or I'll put their phone number up. Remember, we post weekly. So please come back, subscribe, and share. Take care and see you next week.